All right, well, it's the beginning of September, which means our updated market stats are ready for our Airdrie real estate market. Now we're gonna go through some of the numbers and trends that we're seeing right now. And later on in the video, I'll give you my thoughts about where the market is going so that you can be better prepared to buy or sell in our market. So please, if you like these market update videos, scroll down and give that like button a tap for the YouTube algorithm. It really does help me get these videos out in front of other people that wanna learn more about our Airdrie real estate market. So if you do that, that would be fantastic. Now, as per usual, let's start by pulling up our Airdrie real estate market update graphic. You can see here that in August, we had 204 sales within the month and 206 new listings. Now, this was interesting to me because I wasn't expecting to see over 200 sales in the month. In July, we had 194 sales and it's fairly uncommon for August to have more sales than July. So I was expecting kind of more in the 180 range, something like that. But if we dive a bit deeper into the sales throughout the month, 60% of the sales in August happened in the last half of the month. So we started off as kind of a slow burn and picked it up as the month went on. Now it is a small sample size, but that is indicating a ramp up heading into the fall. Now those sales and new listing numbers left us with just 176 active listings here in the city, which is the lowest we've seen all year other than January, right in the middle of the winter. And of those 176 listings, 53 of them are currently conditionally sold already. And with inventory that low compared to our sales, that once again brings us below one month supply at 0.86 months supply in our overall market across all styles and price ranges. And as you know, some styles and price ranges are hotter than others, and we have two styles this month that are below a half a month supply, which we'll get into a little bit later in this video. But without skipping forward, comment down below which two styles you think those are that are below a half a month supply. The options are gonna be apartments, townhouses, semi-detached, or detached. Go down, comment now, and then come back and finish the video. All right, well now back to our overall 0.86 months supply. That puts us back into an extreme seller's market, which means we'll continue to see upward pressure on those prices. And as a buyer, you can find yourself competing on homes depending on what you're looking at. Now as for prices, and we're gonna get into the specifics shortly, but you can see here that our benchmark price from an overall standpoint in Airdrie is up 5.8% compared to last year. And with our prices increasing this year, and at this point last year, they were decreasing slightly, you can expect that this percentage is gonna get higher throughout the rest of the year. I'd expect that probably in about two or three months, we're gonna be showing a 10% benchmark price year over year increase. All right, so we've gone through the general stats now. So now we're gonna go through some of the specifics and prices of the different styles of homes. And from there, we're gonna discuss some of the trends we're seeing in the different price ranges here in Airdrie. So let's start off with our detached homes, which is our biggest housing segment here in Airdrie, making up over half of the sales that we saw in August. For these homes right now, we have a month supply of 1.15 months. So still very much in a seller's market here, but not as crazy as some of the other segments that you'll see. Our prices on detached homes went up again in August, as we've seen in every other month here in 2023. Benchmark price for a detached home in Airdrie is now $603,500, which is up a little bit for the month, but not a ton. The 0.4% increase over last month is actually the lowest we've seen all year for detached homes on a month to month standpoint. Now moving on to the semi-detached homes or duplexes here in Airdrie. Here we're seeing an insanely low month supply right now with just 0.35 months of inventory in the market, only about 10 days worth of inventory for those duplexes. Now, as you'd expect knowing that, we did see prices increase again, but again it was a smaller increase than we're used to. For the semi-detached homes we saw a 0.5% increase as compared to last month, and now they're at a benchmark price of $470,300. And now let's look at our townhouses. Here we have a 0.61 month supply and a benchmark price of now $346,600. That's an increase of 1.2% over the last month. So we're still seeing the prices move up pretty quickly on the townhomes. Right now they're up about 12% compared to last year. And last but not least, we have our apartments where we have just 0.4 eight months supply and a new benchmark price of $252,800. Now that's a 2.3% increase over last month, which means condos have gone up in price 18% now compared to last year. Absolutely crazy numbers from the apartments here this year. Well, now you know prices are still increasing across the board 
but the lower priced styles continue to move a lot quicker than the detached homes. So we're talking those townhouses and apartments right now. So now on that note, let's look into some of the activity and the different price ranges that we're seeing right now. Now if you watched last month's update, you know that under 600 was the hottest area of the market and above 700 was very slow. So let's see if that's still the case this month. So starting with the zero to $300,000 price range, and keep in mind that this is a bit of a dwindling price range as our prices are going up. Now all that's really in this range right now is condos and some of the older townhomes in the city. But for this zero to 300 range, we had 29 sales in July, but we only have 11 active listings on the market right now. So that gives this price range a month's supply of just 0.38 months. And I should note that eight of those 11 listings are currently conditionally sold. So the market's extremely tight in this range, but we're getting less and less activity in this range just because the prices are going up. Now moving on to the $300,000 to $500,000 price range. In this range, you'll find a bit of all of the styles. You'll have the fancier condos, the newer townhomes, the smaller semi-detached, and the older, smaller detached homes. And in this range, we saw 70 sales in July, and we currently have 38 active listings. So that's gonna give us a month supply of 0.54 months. So though it's not as low of month supply as the zero to 300 range, there are a lot more listings that fit into this category, which gives us a more realistic picture picture of the activity and that activity is pretty hot. And also of those 38 active homes, 21 of them are currently conditionally sold. And moving now on to the next price range of $500 to $700,000, here you'll find the higher end townhomes, bigger semi-detached homes, and our average detached homes here in Airdrie. Here we saw 84 sales in July, and we currently have 57 active listings, which means that gives us a month's supply of 0.68 months. So again, going up in that month's supply as we go up through the price ranges, but still very low end within that extreme seller's market window which we look for under one month's supply. And now moving into the $700,000 to $900,000 range, we had 23 sales in this range in July, and we currently have 52 active listings on the market right now, which gives us a month's supply of 2.26 months. So this is a bit lower than last month in terms of the month's supply, but it still is a big jump from those lower price ranges. So this puts the 700 to 900 price range in a bit more of a balanced market, but still leaning on the seller's side of the market. And now into our last price range, which is anything in Airdrie above $900,000. Now this is where it gets a bit out of hand. So we saw only two sales in July in this 900 plus range, but we have 19 active listings. So that's a month supply of 9.5 months, well beyond a balanced market and very much into buyer's market in this range. So if you're selling in this range, you need to know what you're up against. You need to be preparing your home for the sale to the best of your ability so it shows the absolute best and you need to price it well in order to have a successful sale. And on the flip side, if you're buying in this range, know that on paper, sellers definitely have a bit less of negotiating power but most of them are likely under the assumption that we're in a seller's market in all areas of the market. So they might be a bit stubborn with negotiating on their price, especially if they're fairly new on the market. So just something to keep in mind if you're buying in this range, you just gotta make a plan with your agent on how you wanna approach that negotiation. Well, there you have it. We're still seeing a similar trend to last month with under 700,000 being a much hotter market, much more active market than above $700,000. But we did see some more sales in that 700 to 900 segment, which did help them out a bit. Ultimately, our prices are going up still across the board. Overall, we're very much in a seller's market and with the way things are going, I don't expect that to change anytime soon. I'd expect that we'll get another push in the market in September through November before slowing down for a couple months before the spring market. And I'd expect that that spring market in 2024 is gonna start fairly early, probably in about February or so, with a lot of people wanting to beat the rush to the market. But even in those slower winter months, I'm not expecting prices to come down at all, but instead to just slow the increases that we saw, just like we saw this month. So if you have any questions at all about our market or your situation, don't hesitate to ask. Everyone's circumstances are different and that will always require a custom tailored approach to your real estate goals and I'd love to help with that. So reach out anytime and be more than happy to chat. My name is Brad Walker, your local Airdrie Realtor with Real Broker. I hope you learned something in our market update today and we'll see you in the next video.